plans for this episode, hang the door and not just hang it, but make removable hinges so I can take it off when I want to. This episode of the Fab Forms is brought to you by Kill Fab Clothing Company. Find all the latest Fab Forms merch at killfab.com. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So I think today what I want to do is I want to make the doors on the Bibster removable. So I just kind of skinned this door the other day, um, kind of put it on there temporarily, just to kind of see what it's going to look like, kind of get an idea of what I want. Um, like I've said in this whole build, I kind of have to look at it and then make adjustments on the fly. Sometimes what you think it's going to look like doesn't turn out the way that it should. So I always, I never really make big plans. I just kind of go with the flow. Initially, I didn't really like the way that it looked. It's an awful lot of flat space, but it's grown on me. I think I was just so used to the way that it used to be that a door just looked funny, but now that it's kind of on there, it doesn't look too terribly bad. I mentioned in the last video that I didn't have the latch uh, striker bolts for the door. I'd lost them. And so I ordered some, and of course, uh, as soon as I ordered them, I actually found the ones that I'd saved. That's the way it usually goes, ain't it? It's okay though, I really, this project, I mean, really needs a nice new striker bolt. Um, make it nice and clean, so that'll work out. It's only like, I don't know, 30 bucks for the two of them. Also bought a, uh, throttle cable so this is like a low car 36 inch throttle cable i was kind of i got the intake off now I'm gonna kind of work on this thing a little bit and get it squared away the motor's about to come out and go so i can go through it and do final assembly as so i can put it back in and it'll be basically done now that i've got a clutch and everything so as far as the door goes like i said i wanted this thing to be removable uh they make kits for like race cars and stuff, but I think I'm just gonna modify the factory hinges to make these a uh, removable setup. It shouldn't be too terribly difficult. The part that bolts to the chassis is is the wider section. The part that's a part of the door is a, is a narrower section. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just take out the pins and the hinges, and then I'll just cut off these top lugs. I'll put a bolt in the bottom and kind of weld it up on the bottom. Um, probably cut it off and you know, taper the head just a little bit so it'll slide on and then basically when the door is open um, it can go right on those lugs and once it's shut it should be locked into place uh, for several reasons obviously the door frame itself won't come, let it come off but I may also make some kind of safety mechanism in here that when it's shut it can't come off sounds pretty easy to me Usually those are the ones that bite you though. So anyway, I'm gonna put these uh, striker bolts in just so I can align this door, align the hinges and stuff, and then uh, we'll go from there.
kind of leave that thing a little bit loose. It should have just a little bit of adjustment in there. In and out and up and down. Which is what we want so we can get that door lined up. So what I want to do on this door is I'll actually strip all this to in here and then probably put some uh, dimple dyed holes in it just kind of give it a little bit of character and then it'll have a door card that goes on the inside that I'll make and so all bare metal door card will be bare metal everything else will be painted black I don't have a latch in here I gotta figure out what I want to do with the latch because Uh, I gotta make sure I, I don't really know what I want to do with the latch yet because right now the standard Fox body door handle um, it is 100% Fox body there's no mistaking obviously this will go away I'm okay with it being 100% Fox body but I, I kind of want it to be a little bit discreet um, what this thing is I don't want it to be like too out there in your face so I'm kind of considering maybe doing something else here, whether that's shave it. The only problem with shaving is I think it's just going to be too much flat space on this thing. Um, I could try to like make something else, kind of mold in some other kind of door handle into this thing, which is can happen. I, I like the bare metal idea though, and most of them are plastic nowadays. So I don't know. It's hard to find anything metal that's that's cool. You know, like a recessed door handle would be really nice. Something that's very modern and would kind of fit the style of this build. The problem is they're all plastic now. So I don't know. I could make something, but man, you're talking about an undertaking. I thought about buying like a billet. See if there's a billet aluminum door handle they make. I thought UPR made one at one point, but I looked and I didn't see any. So if you know of any billet handles let me know because I think that would be pretty cool I think for the bottom down here because to try to like soften the fact that it's a fox play I'll probably cover up these lines I'll make a panel that kind of rivets on right here just bends and goes straight down and then I'll rivet it on the bottom so it'll kind of look like it has some kind of bumper rail on it but it won't have that iconic fox body look latch but I think the problem is that this bottom hinge is so wore out that it's kind of got some weight resting on it um, I'm sure that mechanical portion of the latch needs to be cleaned and lubed as well so See these bad boys have already been replaced once. These things are notorious for wearing out. So my thought process is find a bolt that fits that hole pretty well. And actually laid out a couple bolts that I felt like would be easy to weld on. So like these ones have that little shoulder. Once it was on there, I could just TIG weld that bad boy on there. And it actually almost fits. So, I just need to see.
This is what I've got so far. So I just made some pins that will, one will go on the bottom, one will go on the top. And then I took the hinge itself, cut the top tab off, but I left this section hanging over. And the reason I did that was because uh, I'll end up drilling this hole out, I'll put this pin through there, and then I'll weld the bottom of it. So what'll happen is when the door is open slightly, that pin can go through this hole back here. But as soon as the door shuts, this tab up here actually goes over this bracket, which will keep the door from bouncing off the hinge. So that's the idea at least. I'm sure I'll have to kind of clean this up a little bit as I go. Right now I'm gonna drill this hole, put this pin in there, kind of clean up this hole so that thing slides in. And uh, this one will be, this one will be done for now. Probably end up cutting that thing off as well, just so it'll have some room. So after some back and forth, I think I got it situated the way I want it. So the lower one, I ended up cutting that whole top tab off. Mainly because uh, with that top tab on, um, I was gonna have to cut off this wheel and thought about maybe retaining this thing temporarily just if I wanna put that spring back in here. Uh, I'm gonna need this wheel even though that thing's a little bit wore out. But so anyway, now this one just slides right in like that. And then the top one, I'll put that tab back on there so it can only come out when it's at an angle or when the door is open. Once the door is shut, kind of locks it in there. now I'll have to cut this tab off on this one just so it'll clear but uh, it's pretty much it obviously everything's just kind of tacked together obviously everything's just kind of tacked together for now until I make sure that everything's gonna work like I want it So the door side looks almost exactly the same. The only thing that's different really is this side. And uh, seems to be working pretty well already. Let's see if I can hold this thing, do it one handed. Oh, 
look at that. I don't know if I really caught it on film or not, but. So when it's shut. See, or hopefully you can see this little tab in here kind of hangs over this piece it's gonna that's what's gonna keep it from popping off you can't even move it up so I grab a hold of it like you can't even move it up bottom ones wide open focus bottom one's wide open swings good it still has the little stops on it so like that's that's it right there. She stops right there. So I left the stops on the top side of this one, the bottom side of that one, and the bottom side of that one. And then... Boop. That easy. I think I'm also gonna do that on the white car uh, just to make it easier to kind of get in and out of it at the track or working on it. Sometimes when you're getting under the dash and stuff just to get the, the doors out of the way is very helpful. So kind of wanted to test that out on this one. And you know, once I know that it works whether I want it to, which it seems like it, it will, uh, I'll probably do that on the white car when I get started on that thing too. So anyway, Probably the next video will be uh, back on the intake. Got to do one final sanding on this thing, get it buffed, and then um, start mounting everything up permanently. I got to figure out a bracket, throttle cable bracket, because the way that this cable is going to run is going to be down through here. But yeah, do that, start mounting stuff in the firewall, clutch cable, because, uh, like I said, the motor's coming out. I'm going to go through it, get it all ready, fire this thing up. And then once it goes back in there, hopefully it'll be the last time. So anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Y'all go do work, son. Mm -hmm.